I'm just curious, man. What have the last 72 hours felt like for you? Jumping on a charter and all the things you have to do to get ready to go to Nevada and then now to come out and do what you did tonight. Yeah, um, it's been really hectic, but uh, our thing our coach has been preaching is just like no excuses. Uh, but, you know, I got, I got the call from Coach Wicks after the game and I saw the X went down in the Utah State game really late. Um, so I knew that I was going to have to come and, and help us out because we would read down numbers. So uh, right after that game, I went to the gym that same night and kind of got myself in condition because I had been not in the gym for like five days because of COVID. Uh, but then, you know, uh, I got on the play. I was so excited to see my guys and, you know, everything just uh, followed from there. And, you know, I, I was happy the way everything turned out. You know, uh, Coach Linder was saying the other night that you're one of the most confident freshmen he's ever coached. Where does that come from? Uh, that comes from my mom. Uh, I've been playing basketball all my life, so like, and I, I've also watched my mom uh, work really hard all her life. So when it comes to basketball, there's never been any pressure. It's always just been a fun, free-flowing game to me. So uh, I just like to go out there and have fun and, uh, you know, I feel like my mom just instilled those qualities in me. Hey, Noah, um, you know, down there the stretch, tie game with about 10 minutes to go. Uh, you know, what was the message in the huddle there before you guys went on that run? Uh, just just get stops, get kills. Uh, we have a thing called kills where we get three stops in a row, and then, and then that's one kill. So we were just really focused on rallying stops. Uh, and then offensive, offensively, we knew that would come. Uh, but it was really the main focus was just getting stops. How much changed with your offense tonight without Graham in the middle, Noah? I mean, sh missing a guy like Graham, EK, like it, it's irreplaceable. So we knew we'd have to have different guys step up and be more aggressive tonight. Uh, but we, were, we obviously weren't able to play through the post as much. We did through Maldo, but uh, I thought we did a pretty good job adjusting. What's this freshman year been like for you, kind of getting used to this level of play, developing behind some guys, and then being ready to roll when, you, when you're when you asked to uh, step up for X right now? Uh, shoot. I mean, I've, I've just been happy to be here. At a high school, I had zero Division one offers, one Division two offer. So uh, the fact that I'm here in Wyoming is, is truly a blessing. So uh, every day I've just been trying to learn from guys like Maldo and, and Coach Linder and uh, – I knew uh, eventually the, season, the college basketball season is so long, so I knew eventually I'd get my shot, uh, and I just have to be ready when I got to it. So I've, I've known that for like five months now, so uh, it's just been about preparation.